Hey traders, it's Wednesday the 11th of April with a quick look at the ES Mini and also the trades that we took today and why we did same. A couple of people asked me to do a quick video which is what I'm going to do. With the ES we had this trend line that goes back to um, 2011 that we broke down obviously. Um, I'm looking at the possibility of a left shoulder head and a right shoulder here okay or a ratio move where we move up uh, a retracement back and then a continuation to the upside where we would look at the 127 up here okay 127 extension which I believe is at 1440 and very coincidentally at this area here okay it was an inside day if you note and we have RSI still headed down so we could conceivably turn here. The other thing we need to look at is that NIMO made a bottom here, okay, which is significant in that we did the same thing in November, and we all know what happened. November, December, we shot higher, okay. So this is bullish. And let's look at the spiders. Spiders, we had an inside day too, okay. And we have Chiku move down below price and is starting to get back above price. We have this little pattern here, this channel that we're looking at. We have Tikken Sen up above Kijun Sen, and price came down yesterday and almost touched Kumo, okay, which is significant. We had a nice little bounce there. We're oversold, so we're due to move up. Looking at a shorter time frames, we look at the 15 minute. You can see that we're stuck in the Kumo right now. Jiku is above price, but just below price here if we continue sideways. 30 minute. We can see Chiku is over here below price, so this is somewhat bearish on the 30 minute time frame. Overbought. And we're watching for a twist, Kumo twist here to the upside. We want to see on the 30 minute a move back up above Kumo, get a Kumo breakout. Same thing on the 60 minute. We're up above Tekken Sen, but Tekken Sen is below Kijun Sen. Okay. Daily, uh, we just looked at. Now, the things that we looked at today were some of the banks, JP Morgan. First thing we saw today on the 5 minute was this gap up. Okay. Chiku was above Kumo right here in this area. When we started out the day, okay, Chico was right there. Remember, Chico is 26 periods back. All right, that gives us a confirmation that we can go long. But what we did was we waited for the 15 minute, okay, and we got a close above here on this candle, but we moved back down. So we waited till we got this candle here closed, and we got in at 43.82 on J.P. Morgan. All right, we're continuing to stay with this trade. Um, we have uh, Kijusen moving up to price. We have Kumo turning up. Okay, so that's significant. We had a Kumo twist today um, around, I guess, about 11 o'clock. So this is looking good, and Chiku is above price. Okay, 30 minute. We want to see. Um, price move up above and give us a a Kumo breakout as well as Chico moving above price and then moving back above the Kumo. That's what we want to watch for tomorrow for continuation on the swing. Moving into the 60 minute, we also want to see the same. We want 60. Watch the 60 get up here. Notice that the Kumo was narrower, so we should have less resistance to move up, and we have. Tekken Sen just about ready to cross Kijun Sen. We want to see this instead of flatten out. We want to see this move up again tomorrow. We had Wells Fargo similar situation on the five minute. This morning we had a gap up. We looked at the 15 minute. Okay, we had this situation here where we had a Kumo breakout. It was narrow, still a good viable signal. You could have traded this from this point up to here at the high, all right, where we had 
Chiku turned back down. You could have taken profits on this this red candle here at 33.88. So you had a valid buy signal here at 33.53. That's only 30 cents, but it is a scalp trade, all right? We looked at we looked at the 30 minute. We started to head back down, and on the five minute, we got a sell signal. So we got out of this trade flat on Wells Fargo. Ozark is still looking pretty decent. All right. We're looking for a five minute Kumo breakout tomorrow and we'll watch for this to continue into the 15 minute. We have a close here on the 15 minute Kumo breakout. We want to see this move higher with a flat uh, Kijitsen. It would be nice to see this move higher. Okay. We have Tikensen and Kijitsen right at the same price inside of Kumo. Chiku's over here above price. That's looking good on Ozark. Same thing. We had SVU where we had a five minute breakout above the cloud here. That was a buy signal. All right, we came back down, tested it again. Chico gave us a sell signal in the five minute. So if you're still in it, um, just keep an eye on that. We had Kijitsen come down and touch, um, excuse me, price come down and touch T Kijitsen. Chico is above price, and we want to see this move back above tick and cent. Okay? Kumo is continuing to move higher. Uh, this was a trade we had from yesterday, uh, for those of you who, are, who weren't in it uh, today. We got um, on stock charts, we got this notice that it was heavily traded on Monday, and we got in it on Tuesday. We saw this uh, tick, TK cross coming. Although it's below below Kumo, this is a little bit weaker signal. We came up and we tested the uh, Kumo, and we moved off of this. We got out of this trade here. Okay. So that's those trades. Let's look at the RUT. Okay. Daily, we're inside of Kumo. We would expect this to bounce tomorrow. Chiku to move back above price. Qs. But we're still looking good. We're above uh, Kijitsen. Kijitsen's flat. Looks like a nice landing area here. It looks like we might move higher. So let's keep an eye on Apple and the shorter time frames. Okay? Cousin Vinny coming to you on the 11th of April with a quick tutorial on Ichimoku. Take care. Remember your stops and we'll talk to you soon.